It's a continuation of the linear tour. Just so you can see the whole thing, more or less. One that might be fast forwardable. Going down with eggs out on our left. This is a south facing ridge. That's the beaver pond down there. We'll go uh, to its little dam first. It's pretty head high weeds over in this left field where we plowed a few years ago. Um, it's got a decent fence around it worth saving, worth working with. Locust posts, new uh, fencing, field fencing woven. Some of it's tenser than others. This is obviously a loose section. Oh wait, that's just uh, the off cut. This is the fence. So that's a good fence. This whole field kind of needs to be burned. You can see our old greenhouse. But that, I've burned that field before. And uh, well, it just comes back stronger. But not if you're working it. I used to be worried about fire until everything burned. So I'd come out here and burn the field after I left. Make sure it didn't go too crazy. So we're going to go over to this dam. And I'll have uh, this trail spray painted, marked, so you can't miss it. So, several hundred gallons per minute overflow there. And you can see here, this right side is all Ulanawi, left side is a couple different neighbors, I believe, maybe all family, but off in the distance is uh, the Pickett's place. And above this is the, the trout dam up there, which I got another video of. Chinopus? What is it? Chinopus? I think that might be the term for it. I think that might be actually a uh, thatching reed right there. But yeah, dropping a lot of wood into this and building it up. Because uh, that whole bank should, could be real thinned. If you thin it out, then you could add more trees of the different types. South face, plenty of water. And over here, see it stays pretty high. There's another beaver dam right below it, pretty, pretty much, all the way down. And then this is a ditch. I dug that goes in land away from this uh, and uh, feeds a little pond over by the mud raft or what was mud raft. Um, yeah, that, it was pretty neat to do that part. And it's got a little pond over there, a really nice little pond that's also the uh, uh, gray water system for that house. Just one more look at the beaver pond because it's gorgeous. I guess the beavers live over there in that thing. It's real close. They have a boat over there. I've seen him out once or twice. He fishes out here once, or t some, once, in, once in a while. He had a, I just saw him building a new dock the last time I was here, but it's gone. I wonder what happened. Uh, anyway, so to reorient, like I've been saying, south is over this way. That's west. That's uh, this hill, you can practically just see the cut for the big uh, power lines that go up the hill next to Moonshadow. Just that ridge there. So that's the other side of Lane Cove over there. And Moonshadow is uh, over that away. And let's see, Chattanooga is that away. And the whole valley is opening up that way. And it's coming up skinnier uh, to, the, to the east here. Uh, let's see. Should I cut there? I'll keep going. I'm gonna go back to our road, such as it is. So yeah, a lot of mowing needs to be done. Down here you could mow pretty much indiscriminately. There's a lot of, it, pretty much everything is uh, sweet on, and it'll just come back again. Uh, probably, maybe a black walnut here. So you could, you could be careful, but it'd make you go slow. That's a big field. 
I've motored a couple of times. So continuing down this path, just to orient again, there's eggs at and the greenhouse. So we're coming down this road, goes straight down. A lot of honeysuckle, a lot of sweet gum. Still good goat land, had goats on it for a while. Some of the trees have gotten to grow up since then. This field got a bait and switch as far as getting worked one time and then got a little out of, out of control, I guess. We weren't keeping up on it. So this is mud, <coughs> mud raft. I'm gonna keep going over this way. This is that pond I was talking about. So this, see that ditch in the back there? That goes to where I was showing you. So a uh, pretty dang good water source. Uh, I'm gonna come around because we can get to the other, another corner of the property. Let's see, this will be the Southwest, I think. Yeah. Um, no, Southeast. Southeast, right. more water and this creek property line goes straight through this creek can't see my screen anymore it's too bright straight through this creek and off to that corner um looks like the big tree at the very corner of the property is down but this creek sort of braids out through that field that cow field over there and at the same time the creek there was a running along the road when we were coming in, sort of peters out along this, uh, along this edge, when it turns right there at a, where that gate and turnaround gravel on the road that I was talking about at first, where you can make a cut through. So that the creek alongside the road that comes all the way down from Limestone Spring, comes down and threads out through this field. You get little bits of it running Sometimes actual, and sometimes it sort of just disappeared. But that makes up that property line. Is that some places it's a creek, and some places it's not really a creek? Um, yeah, this is the south, west, east, southeast corner. See, it's just the sun's a weird spot. It's just about a two in the afternoon. It feels like it's setting. Um, okay, I'll, well, as long as I'm going, <clears throat> go around, follow this trail, um, over to the right, uh, crap, I didn't go on the right trail, it's the easiest trail anyway. That was where I was supposed to come out. So imagine I'm coming down this trail from mud raft, and that's where I branched off before. And I just take this left here from the mud raft trail. It goes around this big thicket of uh, scrubby trees and some poplar and some mostly sweet, but a lot of sweet gum. Uh, sycamores. And Scrub oaks, swamp oaks. Occasionally good po good poplar. There's that's an oak, right? Yeah. So still going through this trail that I just I went commando with a bush hog one time to get through it because I knew I could see there was about an acre of land back here that I had I just couldn't access at all. Be careful 
this is actually where I got the, uh, I bush hogged it one year and then the next year I had the excavator. And just to keep it clear, I tried to drive the excavator through it and got it stuck here. So that was about a day and a half. I actually cut down like about a tree and a half, like a full size tree and a half. Cutting them down, slicing them up, putting them under one of the legs, the other leg, the other wheel, the other, under the bucket, under the under the, the front, the, the little arm, scoop on the arm and all. So there's a lot of carbon right in this, in this swampy ground. <laughs> Might be great soil one day. I don't know. It's obviously very swampy in a lot of parts of the year, but th that uh, can be a good thing. Really need to get some good bamboo growing. I've tried planting bamboo, but uh, I need you need to keep it closer. I don't know. It needed a little more mowing than I gave it, and I uh, lost it because I just tried to plant it down here where I thought it'd do great, but need a little more babying, unfortunately. So just plant closer to zone one. Okay, where are we coming out? We're not coming out anywhere useful. Shit, I have my finger. I'm sorry, guys. Um, 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 um uh, well, that's sort of that's the property line. That the the privet there and the tree line, and it goes back probably 500 feet from here, 600, maybe 600 feet to there, to where this stream that you can hear here runs up and meets the road at that, uh, the gate and where it'd be great to get access to. Can't really get there, I don't think, with uh, the field like it is. I mean, I could, I could charge it, but it wouldn't be very informative. But there's not a trail that I could show you, but 